Top of the day to you. Welcome to another exciting episode of Sports Arena on BOS TV with your sincerely the undisputed heavyweight champion of the airwave. This is Harry Guma serving you with uh, the best of sporting gist uh, today. I've got so many trendy gist for you. Well, the UEFA Champions League uh, first leg semi final match went down already done a doorstep, two games done, Chelsea took on Liverpool, Real Madrid, I beg your pardon, and it ended 1-1. And yesterday we saw, uh, of course, uh, Manchester City taking on PSG. It ended in favour of Manchester City, a way at Park the Princess, Pep Guardiola said we were able to get a result. We'll be looking at that and of course, uh, taking a preview of, or rather, taking a preview of what will be going down in the UEFA Europa League. Arsenal will be away too, of course, of Villarreal, and uh, that means that uh, Una Emery will be locking on to this former team and for Manchester United they will be doing a, an, an old boy reunion because uh, they will have some of their ex-players uh, playing against them when they take on AS Roma. The likes of Eric Mkhitaryan and Co will be taking on Manchester United in these semi-final phases of the UEFA Europa League. We'll be looking at that and of course uh, in the Cup Confederations Cup uh, we'll be bringing you up to speed with what went down right uh, here in Nigeria at the Aimba International Stadium in Aba where Aimba Defeated Orlando Pirates 1 0 to progress to the quarter final phases of the UCAP Confederations Cup. I'll bring you up to speed with that. These are many more I've got lined up for you today. Don't go anywhere, stay with me. In the history of the UEFA, UEFA Champions League and the European Cup, uh, there have been 47 instances with an English team winning their first leg of a two-legged encounter in the knockout phases. And guess what? All 47 times, they have progressed. Uh, that means that uh, Manchester City are in favour to go through to the finals of the UEFA Champions League. They did defeat uh, PSG yesterday, courtesy of goals from Kevin De Bruyne and of course uh, Real Mares yesterday, courtesy of a beautiful free kick from uh, the Algerian yesterday in that encounter but uh, one key thing in that encounter that shook everybody myself to be precise was the of course uh, the anonymous performance from uh, uh, Kylian Mbappe in the first half for the first time ever I witnessed a Kylian Mbappe without a single shot I mean I'm not saying shot off target or on target without a single shot in 45 minutes of football that's a first for him and it was an all-time low it goes to show that uh, Pep Guardiola's uh, Pep Guardiola's side knew what to do and they did the right thing against the PSG who were full of talent they were able to silence Pep uh, they were able to silence Mauricio Pochettino and of course uh, uh, Kylian Mbappe and Neymar for Neymar he had a beautiful first half uh, the show booting for me was just too much because uh, the man was full of skill uh, trying to dribble too many players but eventually it didn't lead to any goal and of course, we know how it ended in favor of Manchester City. Two goes to one. Marquinhos, the captain of PSG, got the first goal in the first half for uh, PSG. They ended the first half, one goal to nothing. Everybody was thinking, okay, it's going to be a PSG night. But it didn't happen as we were thinking because Pep Guardiola came out with a second half uh, a masterclass because, uh, you know, there's a popular saying in football that uh, the first half belongs to the players and the second half belongs to the coaches. Pep Guardiola did prove us right with that one. On Tuesday, we also saw another exciting match in the UEFA Champions League semi-final first leg where Chelsea went all the way to the Alfredo Di Stefano Stadium rather right in Madrid to take on Real Madrid. It ended 1-1. Against all odds, an English team going uh, to the Spanish capital getting a draw. And now uh, they didn't just get a draw, they had played Real Madrid. And that goes to show that uh, this season we might be possibly looking at an all English final. That goes to show that uh, the English Football League is coming of age the way so many persons have been besieging. Uh, you know, so many persons believe that uh, the Spanish La Liga is the best league in the world. <laughs> well, some opinion. And uh, so many other persons believe that the English Premier League is the best league in the world. Well, we'll get to find out when, of course, uh, these two teams lunk on next week again for the return leg of the UEFA Champions League. Don't have those with the UEFA Champions League. Let's come down to Africa and talk you through what went down at the Invite National Stadium in Abba, where Siri Olisema 94th minute strike ensure that Aimba went straight to the quarterfinal phases of the, of course, Cup Confederations Cup. Aimba took on Orlando Pirates uh, they, before the game. They were at the bottom of they were at the bottom of the group, but tied on the same point with a bit, a few ago difference. They were on the bottom of the group. And now, uh, just when that game kicked off, I, I was viewing it on the MPFL TV app. But uh, it kicked off very late. It was played under the floodlights at 10 p.m. That was the kickoff time for that game. Uh, it took them 90 plus four minutes to ensure, to get a goal for Aimba to get to progress to the quarterfinal phases of the uh, CAF Confederations Cup. Big congratulations to Siri Olisema, big congratulations to the coach Fatai Osho and of course every other person associated with Aimba. 
This morning, I put a call across to the media officer, who is my friend. He was singing and dancing. Well, big congratulations to them. Let's see if they will, of course, represent Nigeria and be a good ambassador of Nigeria in the continent. The quarterfinal phase is business, business, business. You just have too much to go. I play your home match and win. Play your away match and get another positive result. You are true to the next phase of uh, the CAF Confederations Cup. We are solidly behind Aimba. We are supporting and hoping that uh, they will go far. Probably bring uh, back uh, the CAF Confederations Cup. They will be the first uh, Nigerian team to win the CAF Confederations Cup alongside the CAF Champions League if they eventually get a win. The road is long, but I believe that they will be able to do it. Big congratulations to them. Still talking football from the home scene, the Nigerian Premier League team, Abia Warriors, was originally formed and owned by Governor Diden, Governor of Abia State, Senator Oji Uzo Kalu. He has come out to say that uh, in no distant time, he would make a claim for uh, that team back. Uh, he said that it was when he left office yesterday, uh, it was, it was, he said this uh, in an interview granted to some newsmen, and uh, he said that uh, it was when he left office that was when the government uh, that took over from him uh, claimed the team as the state-owned property but he said that he has legal backing that, uh, that he owns the team and originally formed by him as an uh, OGFC. Well, we'll be waiting to see. I, I feel this is going to drag Abia Warriors backwards because uh, we know when the case comes up like this, uh, we have to go to uh, the Court of Arbitration for Sports and every other politics that gets involved. And for a state-owned team, uh, I don't even know how to address them if they are still a state-owned team. From what uh, Senator Oji Uzokalo has said, well, for the team and the players, I believe that uh, their hearts will be in their hands right now. They would be worried and, uh, of course, they wouldn't know where it, this is going to end. I feel it's going to affect the league. It's going to affect Abia Warriors, the club, the coaches, and the players, uh, to be specific. Some of them will have to find another club. From what I'm seeing, I just hope and I pray that uh, this will end in favor of the players and the coaches as well. Let's go straight back to Europe and talk you through what to expect later tonight in the, of course, uh, European UEFA European League. It will be the turn of Asna as they will be taking on the yellow stop Marines of Avilaria in Spain. Our own Samuel Chukweze will be in action for the Yellow Submarine as Una Emery will be leading his team against his former club. Talking about Arsenal, I personally am just keeping my fingers crossed to see what will happen. Villarreal did, did play Barcelona over the weekend and of course Samuel Chukweze got a goal against Barcelona. A very beautiful goal. He dribbled past the defense and the goalkeeper and put the ball into an empty net. Let's see if his form right now will definitely transform to success for them later tonight when of course Villarreal will take on Arsenal in the UEFA Europa League. Another game to look out for later tonight will be that of uh, Manchester United and AS Roman. Well, there's a tweet to that one. Um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the coach of Manchester United, made a comment about AS Roman immediately after the quarterfinal match and he said he doesn't know AS Roma, he has never seen them play and he doesn't know much about them. And uh, guess what, when Manchester United arrived in Italy at the Stadio Olimpico to have their training, they were greeted with a very large banner that read, um, we don't know AS Roma, we don't, we've not seen them play, in quotes, we wish you don't know us, that's the quote, word that was in the banner. Uh, when, of course, uh, Manchester, United, Manchester United were about to kickstart their training ahead of tonight, uh, of course, the UEFA Europa League. But he has since come out to explain the reason behind that statement that uh, he wasn't meaning to disrespect AS Roma, uh, saying that he doesn't know them. But he was trying to say that, uh, yes, he has not looked at them tactically and analyzed how they play. But probably uh, the fans didn't see it that way. And you know, an average Italian fan <laughs> where you know you know what to expect. Well, guys, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and see what will happen in the, of course, uh, UEFA Europa League semi-final matches that will be on later tonight. I did tell you that it will be in terms of Arsenal taking on Villarreal and Manchester United will be taking on AS Roma. That's how we'll be calling to wrap on the show today. Thank you so much for joining me. Do well to subscribe, turn on post notification, and also like our, po our post on all our social media platforms. We are on Instagram. Twitter and of course Facebook. Uh, do well to follow us on our platform at VOS TV and get updated on everything uh, trending in the world of sport and of course uh, news as well. Beyond the Twitter Heavyweight Champion, Losahari Guma is signing out. Bye for now.